What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. I know I haven't uploaded in a little bit, but you know, I kind of talked about it in the last couple of videos. I've been pretty tied up with the new job and uh, I'm not exactly completely past the learning curve, you know, that awkward beginning stage where you kind of break that ice and then you're comfortable and free flowing. I'm close. I've wrote a few policies and I'm doing really good for how new I am. And uh, yeah, I won't bore you guys with that too much. But today uh, I took the day off. It's the day before uh, Christmas Eve. So that means I've got basically a four day weekend and I want to crank out some videos. I haven't been able to work on the cars very much at all. And I can tell it's definitely affecting my mental health a little bit. Not only am I not getting enough sunlight, because, you know, I work from home. I'm like 10, 12 hours just inside. So I want to get out there as much as I can this weekend. I don't know what I'm doing for Christmas. But for now, uh, let's, yeah, let's go outside and kind of reassess the situation with the cars. Uh, I've got a couple ideas, a couple things I know I'm going to take care of today. And then... Uh, some other things, I'm just kind of, you know, we'll see what happens and knock things off the list. But for now, I'm out on this clip. So the first thing I want to take care of is spraying some uh, more bug killer. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but there's a huge spider web right there. And I'll throw in a clip right here of one. This spider freaking camped up right outside my front door. Just a huge web. So yeah, check this clip out. Holy shit. Yeah, that had happened a couple of times where I'd just walk out right into the web or I'm coming home and it's late at night so I started putting on a flashlight and luckily I saw that one before I walked into it but before I get messing around with these cars I'm gonna go ahead and spray some more bug killer alright so I got some bug killer laid around the perimeter of the house usually that stuff lasts a little bit especially since it's not rainy season but the first car I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about today is the Purple E34. Now again, just a reminder for anyone that doesn't know this, this is my favorite BMW out of all of them. Besides the E31, which is a 90s 8 series, that one kind of looks like a Ferrari and it's freaking amazing. So, but back to this one, it's still parked. Um, Starts up every time, so what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and just start it up for a little bit as I rearrange the cars. It's in neutral. Thing literally sits for weeks and starts right up. The engine in it has about 150,000 miles, so despite that, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But the paint on it is really rough from it sitting and getting pooped on and yeah. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna strip it of the paint and go for a complete respray when the time comes. What we're gonna do today for sure is uh, replace the idle air control valve hose on the white car. And I'm also going to swap those wheels back onto this car problem I had before was that the tires were too big but I'm gonna give it another go because those tires have the most tread on them and they're my favorite design that could fit so with the spacers we'll see if they work all right now I'm starting to white one up check it out something's a little different <laughs> Yeah, this thing sounds way better. I went ahead and cut the muffler off just to see what it would be like. And yeah, it's a lot louder than I planned, but as a temporary, it makes the car a lot more enjoyable. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is get moved out of the way and then I'll 
the one there, throw it up on stands, start with the idle air control thing, then mess with the wheels, and we'll see if the fitment is right. I'm hoping so, because I really enjoy those wheels. It makes the whole car look way different in an amazing way. Of course, as soon as I start the car, I scared Tux. He's my little buddy. Is an outdoor neighborhood cat. I've been feeding him because you know it doesn't cost much, and I love animals, so why not? I'm looking for his food bowl right now. Maybe I can get him to come up here. Let's see where. Where did he put? Dang! Look how dry rotted those tires are. If your tires are looking like that. <laughs> do not drive on them down here in Florida but I'm not seeing this food dish so all right I'm gonna look around for that and catch you in the next clip all right so I've got the white one on jacks you can see it's on stands and you know I like those wheels they served a good purpose I think this one's got like two plugs in it and shit, so it's a little sketch. But I really, really like these wheels. These are used, but these ones in the front are brand new. So what do you guys think? Do you like that gunmetal color better? Or like a chrome? Or I'm thinking maybe even making them all white. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments about that one. It's a real shame this car is just sitting. It's got so much new shit on it. But I'm gonna jack it up, take the wheels off, test fit them on here again. See my problem before, it wasn't so much in the back. Let me go to the front. So you can see these right here. here let me get the uh, flash going. You see that, that's a spacer and it adds like 15, 20 millimeters because otherwise they'd be hitting right here. When the car's got all its weight on it, it sits a little lower and you can see right there, at full lock, that's where the tire rubs. I've had no issues so far, at least with these. These are a 20550, but those ones are a 24545. So it's significantly bigger, like 40 millimeters. So, yeah, I don't know, I guess we'll see. See, they rubbed right here too. But honestly, I'm enjoying this day off and I haven't got to work on the car, so you know what? Let's test fit them. Hopefully they work. If not, oh well, not a huge deal. Mr. Tux had gotten some food in his belly, and now he's just chilling. He's such a good kitty. You guys should see this man on catnip. He just goes bonkers, just rolling around nonstop. It's hilarious. Maybe I'll find some catnip for the end of this video. It's too bad he can't come inside because it's so cold at night, but... My other cats would not let that fly. I'm gonna finish swapping these wheels over.
All right, so it is the next day. I ran out of daylight last night. Got pretty carried away cleaning the wheels because they got so dirty just sitting there on the other car. But I went ahead and put this one on. And as you can see, I had to remove the spacer. And on this one, it was rubbing so bad, like the fender. Yeah, it was tearing that fender up. Damn. I went to go drive it to get groceries, and yeah, it was rubbing so bad I could smell burning rubber. So, I'm hoping I can just take off the spacers. Let's see if you can see them back there. There you go, right there. That should tuck them in another, you know, 15, 20 millimeters, and then we'll see. So on this side, I had already removed a spacer, and I don't know, it's gonna be tight. I could camber it in, but I don't know, then it's just gonna eat up this tire, so I don't know. Basically just messing around, because I'm gonna end up putting smaller tires on these wheels anyways well it's gonna be close it's not as bad as before because you could see the line right there it was poking out that much and this is the car already settled fitment is really good it's like perfect if i could get the front this low with that kind of fitment it'd be perfect but you can see up here there's a freaking four finger gap and that's no bueno so to give you an understanding on that hose for anyone that doesn't know right so you have this is the intake boot this is the throttle body right here there's a flap inside there that controls how much air comes in and then it tells the computer how much fuel, spark, all that, right? So then you have something called an idle air control valve. And that is that right there. Right there. So basically there's this hose right there that I'm replacing. And it goes to that idle air control valve. And when the car is idling, the throttle body stays completely closed. And that's basically a second throttle body that decides how much to be open and let just enough air in so that it can idle smoothly. Well, I had this one and it was ripped. So what I did as a temporary fix is found a coolant hose that had a bend in it. And you can see it put some hose clamps. That way this end could still go to the boot. And then this end would fit on the idle air control valve. And, you know, it would have kept working. But that was only a temporary fix. You know, I only do stuff right. I'm not one to do chotch jobs. So just replacing that, figured I'd explain what it is. Because I know some of you guys are new to all the BMW stuff. And it's extremely simple. Literally all I took out was the air box and you can access everything under there no problem but if you are is not idling right or it's running rough or even it'll run but as soon as you press the throttle it'll just shut off it's usually a vacuum leak They're real easy to find so if you need help comment down there or hit me up on discord we'll figure it out all right so it has settled. This is definitely still gonna rub. Damn, that sucks. You can see it's gonna rub right there. Yep, can already see where it's starting to align. Well, oh well. I guess I'll swap the other wheels back in a little bit. Yep, even without the spacers. These are rubbing way too much. So, oh well. We'll go ahead and throw the old wheels back on. And, yeah. At least I tried. I remember trying before. 
but I don't remember peeing that bad. So, uh, yeah. Don't try to run two 45, 45, 17s on an E36 because they do not fit. Oh well. Let's see, where did I put those? So I'm gonna throw these bad boys back on. I got the other one right here. The tread on them isn't horrible, but it's not good either. I was driving in the rain and just trying to pull out on the main road. The wheels just kept spinning. So it's definitely time to change them.